Today in this video, we will create a new user in Kali Linux and um, then we will see how we can make that um, user a pseudo user and then add a bash shell for that particular user. Um, so let's get started. And remember that in order to uh, create or delete or make any sort of modification for um, the users, you have to be a root. And as you can see on the screen, I have changed my current Kali user as a root. So let me quickly show you how um, you know you can do that. I hope you all know it's simple. Um, all you can do is simply you sudo su and then give the password for the Kali user and it will convert you to the root user. So in order to create a user, we need to use the common user and let's quickly do user add minus one as well in order to see what kind of options are there. Um, so we will use um, small m as one of the options, we will, which will create a home directory. For example, if I actually quickly show you from the screen over here, um, I have this home directory, right? So um, when we use minus m option uh, for that particular user there will be a home directory home directory as well um, also we will use uh, minus s to um, add a different shell for the user and you uh, we will use minus g as well later in this video so let's actually get started creating the new user so first of all what i will do i will um, create a user user add minus n and then um, let's say it uni8 is the name of the user and then press enter so now the user has been created so let's change the password for this user so for that what we need to do is pound dd password change and the name of the user which is uni8 and add the um, password that you want to give uh, you won't be able to see the password um, and you need to retype the password just to confirm press enter and uh, we have updated this password so now um, the next step will be creating a bash shell but before i do that um, let me actually show you um, how it looks if you change the user so if i do s here uh, to switch the user and then and you will see that you have this um, the, the this um, normal shell. So you can see that we have a shell like this one. It's not similar to the previous shell that we had. So that's why we want to um, add bash shell for this new user. And in order to do that, what we need to do is uh, use the command in shell c c h s h and then minus s and backslash bean backslash bash and then the name of that um, user you need press enter and now if we switch to um, switch to the user we can see that now um you know this um new bash shell has been added for that user but now if i try to uh, make it um pseudo See that uh, is saying this uni8 is not in the sudo files, which is true, it's not a sudo user. So, um, we go back to the root, and now we will make this user a root user. How we can do that is now, as we have already created, we have already added the user, uh, right? So, what we will do, we will simply add this, this user to um, the group of the root. Um, so, in order to do modification. We need to use user mod and then uh, we want to append uh, a new user right to the group of and then the name of the user which is unit press enter and now the user has been added to the um, root group so this is how you create um, a new user you change the password you add a different bash shell and also you um, make that user a root user. 
by the way, there is one uh, simple command that we can use in order to make all this happen is uh, simply user add minus n to add the home directory and capital D to um, add that particular user that we will create now um, as a root user, right? So minus G and then we will want to add it in the sudo user group and then we want to give the name of the new user that we will create now. So we um, created uni8 before. So now let's create uni8 too. So press enter and then uh, we have created another user uh, with one single command. And do not forget to change the password for this user too so that if you want to log in as this particular user later on um, when you start your Kali virtual mission. So um, you will be able to log in. Um, but if you don't set up the password, then you won't be able to um, log in as the current user, for example, uni two. Okay, so that's, that's, um, that's it for this video. So we, sh we have seen that there are, there are two ways that we can use to create the user. Um, as root user so i hope that you you find this video useful and please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any um any question or, or any queries feel free to write that in the comment section and i will get back to you thank you so much